but is air proportioner. This delivers air material from our machine to our gun. This is what we're relying on to thoroughly move one to one, one part ISO, one part resin down our hoses to our gun to be, to be dispensed. Uh, on the wall here is our transfer pumps. These are the Huskies. These are the diaphragm pumps. It's on the class we've seen the stick pumps. Here with this machine, they're using the, the diaphragm pump. We did see the diaphragm of the uh, fashion, the way that the diaphragm pumps work. We're pumping from air containers. So which side material would, would this be? Our A side, because why? It's on the left hand side, on the right hand side, we have our resin. So look, even though the barrel is black, this top is red. And also we can read on the side of it, it's part A, ISO side A. Here's our part B, our resin. And this is a aromatic blend. Need a big special call on this material then. Okay. So we're pumping our material from out from our drum. And if, for those of you that's on this side, this is our Y strain. This, this device here that looks like a Y. This is our Y strainer. And inside of this area here, if we just take to remove this, we would see our screen. That material comes into our wire strainer, goes through the screen, and then enters our pump, which it should be clean, debris free, or maybe very small particles. Generally, our screens that are inside our wire strainers are generally 30 mesh, pretty pretty good size opening. Now remember, we we uh, what's can anyone tell me what's one area of piece of equipment that is overlooked? Uh, it gets the, the, gets the least maintenance to. No. What? The lube. The lube. So our, our pump lube is right here. This, this little can is sort of tight in there pretty tight. I don't want to mess with it. It's also zip tied in. But this pump lube is one of the most overlooked items on a proportion. I've had them. Uh, with the customers' areas or uh, shops or jobs, and if the lube in there was so thick it was like mayonnaise, you turn the cup upside down and nothing would come out. If you have that in this cup, you also have that in this little wet cup on the pump shaft. It's inside of the uh, inside of the oil lines here, so this is something we need to pay special attention to because it is there to protect this A-side shaft. We don't have that on our B-side shaft. Our B-side shaft is open to the uh, to direct air. Now remember, these, these seals will leak a little bit up over time. What, what's going to happen if we get ISO built up on this shaft? It's going it's to crystallize. So when we shut this machine down, we always want to park it. And when we go, when we retract or park or pump, we're parking this shaft down inside of this piston, inside of this cylinder. Because if we don't, if we leave that shaft out, and we come back weeks or months later, probably a couple of weeks being the most, we come back and we start that machine up and there's crystallized or hard ISO around the shaft, when this pump strokes down on that discharge stroke, it's going to damage our seals and it's going to damage our throat seal. And now we're going to have a really big leaking pump. Yes. This one here is going to be in the up position. This shaft here is going to be in the up, up position. This shaft would be in a down position. When you park the pump, I've had a lot of people not understand parking the pump. A lot of people, they just push the park button and thinks that it parks itself. 
you have to release the pressure. So we, we, when we go to shut the machine down, we're going to go ahead and turn our, our primary heaters off, our hose heat off, and we're just going to go ahead and push our part button on, our, up on the smart panel, the, the console, go to our gun, and we're going to relieve our pressure down to around between 500 to 1,000 PSI, and then we're going to take our, our pump down to zero. And when we do that, it shuts everything down in the pumping system. It allows the shaft to go to be part into itself. It doesn't move any further. So once it goes down, it stays there until we turn the machine back on.